guys, Jess here, and welcome to Minecraft Diaries. Now, last episode, we had made a little playground for Levin, and I think you guys are going to be pleasantly surprised. Um, but first, let's decide who the dog of the day is going to be. Now, Cookie, you had your chance to shine. How about Puma? Let's give Puma a chance to shine. And when I say you guys are going to be pleasantly surprised, I mean Levin is not inside. He's not cooped up in the house anymore, nor is Zoe, because they're actually actually using the playground today so I'm really excited about that um but before we actually go see them I just wanted to address something with Lawrence now I think I'm going to take today pretty easy and just try not to think about what I saw I mean I know I saw Lawrence but I mean we're gonna have to try to go back to the nether soon but I don't know when that's going to happen especially since Garth is kind of like not letting me go anyway Puma come on let's go see what little Levin is up to it oh there he is over there. He's just playing with the stuff that we got him. And I put a fence around this, by the way. Um, I made it so that way, in case, you know, something happens. There's a lot of trees that were here, and they're not there anymore. So if we want to see them, we can. Um, and of course, I moved Garth Rose over there. Um, anyway, so let's go ahead and see um, what's going on with... Uh, you know what? Let's go see what's going on with little Levin. Aww, he's so cute, Zoe. Afma, I'm sorry for yesterday. I just, having Levin in trouble brought back those memories. I thank you for listening to me. Oh, I want to let you know that Levin is having a wonderful time outside today. He's been playing in the sand. That seems to be his favorite. Aww, I'm glad I made that sand thing anyway. I'm so glad I made it. Um, Garth, I'm going to come talk to you in a second, but I wanted to go check on Logan because yesterday was, um, like, that was been, that's been my main concern since yesterday. Um is the fact that Logan isn't feeling too- Brian, hello, what are you doing here? Lady Afma, I want to report that I haven't seen anything along the description of a Shadow Knight. All is well. I'll continue my duties. Awesome, Brian, you've done a great job. Um, I'm gonna go talk to Garth soon, see how- what the update with Levin is and what he's thinking about me going to the Nether, but, uh, Dale? I wonder if I should retire as a guard now that Brian is here. Oh, Afma, sorry, just thinking aloud. No, you shouldn't retire, Dale! I need as many guards as I can get right now. Seriously. Um, anyway. Let's go check to see what's going on with, uh, ooh, let's see. Juju, Fufu, Lulu, Sean, ooh, wow, they're, they're way too loud. Um, oh, there's Kiki over there. Interesting. Uh, is Logan okay? He's panting heavily still. Kiki, this isn't good at all. Uh, what? Logan is turning into a werewolf. Wait, what? I've seen this before. Since I've been very close to the werewolf tribe, I know the signs. I'm not sure if he was recently bitten or if he was bitten long ago, and things are now starting to take effect, but... Afma, you're going to have to make a hard choice here. Uh... W what is the hard choice to make, exactly? The hard choice to make is whether or not you want to send him to live with the wolf tribe, or if you want to try to convince everyone here to accept him for who he is, which, given the current human werewolf situation, isn't going to be an easy task to do. Um, uh, let's, he can live with the wolves for all I care? No, I mean, he's a jerk to me at times, but yeah, I can't send him out, no. You should talk to Garth about this. Let him know what is going on. I'll make sure to take care of him while you are figuring out his living arrangements. Yeah, that's what I want to know. Does Donna know? Um, I haven't told her. I don't know how to tell her. I'm scared she won't want to go through with the wedding to Logan. I don't know how Donna feels about werewolves. She might accept him for who he is... Go she might accept him for who he is going to turn into, but who knows? I don't really know her that well. Uh, yeah, where is she anyway? I sent her to pick some flowers. I told her I could make Logan a tea that might help him with his fever. I'm going to keep her busy as busy as I can. I don't know when his transformation will be complete, but it looks like it's going to happen soon. Oh, God. Are you serious, Cake? No! Oh, my God. Well, I don't think that's a bad thing. I mean, wouldn't he turn into a werewolf at night only and then be, like, okay? Is, uh, alright, so there's no way to stop it? Like, I don't know how he, how he feels about that, Logan. Oh, God. Alright, so let's go see if we can find Donna. Maybe we can talk to her and maybe, you know, just figure out what she's thinking here, but, um... Yeah, you, you know what? I, I skipped Garth. I should go talk to Garth. I really should. I really should. Sherry the guard, I'm glad you're here, Sherry. But you know what? I really need to talk to Garth right now. It's good to see you again, too. Just just so you know. And uh, I'm going to make some stairs going up to my house. I am tired of just, like, doing some, like, silly, tiny parkour. Like, baby parkour. I'm going to make some some stairs so I don't have to do anything. Uh, Garth, Garth. I'm so sorry I passed you up before. Hey, Afmao. You want to... Uh, you wanted to see Raven, yes? Actually, yes, I did. Uh, uh, I did, yeah, I did, but we need to talk about Logan first. Logan, what's wrong? Uh, 
he's turning into a werewolf or he's sleeping and he's not sleeping and being lazy he's turning into a werewolf a werewolf by the heavens this is bad i don't mind accommodating his new form but everyone else might not be as understanding has he always been a werewolf and never told us um yeah i think he was just bitten or he would have told us something yeah he probably would have told us honestly that guy is just that guy is just a hot firecracker uh, you're right. It would have been hard to hide. You need to find out from everyone how they feel about a werewolf living in the village. Truth be told, this village has had a history of bad blood with werewolves. Even myself have even myself have encountered many aggressive ones. But I won't turn a fellow human being away because of something they cannot control. Um, wow. I mean, you're right. I don't even have to, yeah. I shouldn't even have to ask the other villagers at this point because it's my it's my village. It's my decision. I'm. The Lord of Phoenix dropped for the time being, so I say it's okay. I agree. Let's just make sure they know who Logan is and not to hurt him. For now, let's just go about our day as usual. Uh, yeah, I guess that's all we have to do. Uh, by the way, Raven has a small cave somewhere around the west side of the village. Oh, if you can find him, you can meet him. He's not so big on making personal appearances unless I have a specific errand for him to run. I can't tell you where he is. Kind of a trial of his to see if you are worthy. Good luck. Oh, okay. All right, well, um... Let's go see if we can find him then. Let's go see if we can find, um, so, f okay, th so the west side of the village. So, let's see, west, okay, so west is this way. All right, awesome. I guess we could go check on Brendan too, though I'm pretty sure he's, I mean, he's been moping ever, how many days has it been since Slash has been gone? Like, what, five, seven days? I feel, I feel like, and that's a long time in the Minecraft world. I mean, come on, Brendan. It's been a while. I mean, can you, can you get over it or some, I don't, what is that? Oh, that was you, Puma. You scared me. Brendan, looks like he passed out from crying too much. Oh my god. Brendan! Oh my gosh. I just, I just don't know what to do with you. Puma, what are we going to do with this guy? Maybe I should have a dog guard Brendan because he's just, oh, I feel bad for him. I really do. Is that thing? Ugh. All right. So I'm just, I, all right. So I, it was a ghost. It was a ghost yesterday. I'm pretty sure, Puma. Puma, you weren't here. Cookie was here, but I'm pretty sure we saw a ghost in there. And what are you up to, Emily? I didn't even talk to you last time. Oh. Hey, Aphmau. I'm thinking of writing books to fill this library. I'm thinking of calling my new one Midnight. Oh, there's no books. Oh, okay. All right. Well, you write a book, and uh, maybe I'll read it. Maybe I'll read it, Emily. Or maybe I'll contribute my own books to there. Like, just write a little, you know, something. A little something, but anyway, um, so I have, let's see, I have my armor, I have, like, my inventory completely clear, so if I want to, like, do some mining or some chopping of wood, I can do that, and it looks like it's getting nighttime, so, ooh, there's a duck. I could use a duck, and a fox? What does that fox say? Oh, oh god, there's a goat. Um, ooh, there's a, ooh, there's a bee and a raccoon, man, I've seen so many things here. I've seen so much stuff already. Uh, alright, so the west side of town. So let's take a look around. I have no idea. Like, it's in a cave, he said. It's in a cave. So where would a cave be, like, just around this area? Um, let's see if I just get on this tree here. Uh, I have no idea where to look. Um, I'm just gonna tree hop for a little bit, and that's a ship. That's a ship. I see a ship. I'm not gonna worry about you right now. I gotta find this dragon cave. I'm just gonna jump on these trees and just try to find, like, the closest cave that I possibly can. There's a lot of snow over there. That's weird. Um, is the water still acting weird, by the way? Like, it still hasn't moved sometimes. Um, alright. Let's see if we can just take a look around and see if we can find anything. Man, I'm, I'm gonna be running around here for- Oh my gosh, I'm gonna- where, where did Puma go? Puma. I hear you. You're right behind me. Okay. Um, jeez, I- I have no idea where to start looking for this thing. Uh, maybe if we get on top of this and just look around for something? I don't know. Uh, ooh, ow. Oh. There's a flower. There's a... Alright. There's gotta be something. Puma, can you, like, not... Where did you even go? Can you use your dog senses to, like, help me or something? There's a tree here that's, like, being held up by a mushroom. I'm gonna take this birch wood with me. I could use some birch wood. I could use some of it. Um, yeah, so it's getting dark. I don't know how to even, where to even begin to look. Uh, speak of the devil. Puma, where are you? Come on, come in here. Yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, this looks like. How many are in there? <gasps> Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, <gasps> this is five, and Urngrith makes six. They're all here, I found them, and you. You're the one I'm looking for. Your name is right above your head. And so is yours, interestingly. Uh, anyway. Raven. So she found us. Garth has a lot of faith in this one. 
Uh, oh shoot. Um, Bo. Uh, what was it? Uh, yeah, it's gotta be this one. Bo of Gnusaran. Yes, I was, I was afraid I was gonna choose the wrong one. You can speak our kin language. Are you a descendant of Lady Irina? Um, let's see. Honestly, I don't know. Yeah, honestly, I don't know. Hmm, then you have a unique gift. My name is Raven. I am the oldest wyvern in this realm. Oh, yeah. Actually, I was thinking the same thing. You were kind of tiny for being so old. And you are so ignorant for eyes that are open. Oh my god! <laughs> wow! Um, <laughs> I like the option you're challenging me, shorty. <laughs> no. Um, yeah, sorry. <laughs> You'll learn I'm very snappy. I have made the shelter for refugees of our kin. By speaking the words bo, bo hufkin, whatever that is, you have signaled that the realms are again going to be one soon. What? That is what is foretold. The saying is to signify to stray wyverns that the time to be united is coming. Um, is it bad? It depends. It might be. It might not. It all depends on if humanity as well as wyvern kind has learned its lessons since last time. Uh, I, I want to take you guys home. Yeah. Kind words, but we cannot go home unless we have wyvern lair logs as well as six human sacrifices. What? You didn't know? You need spirit energy in order to go to the wyvern realm, or you need the book of spirits, which require no life sacrifices. There might be other ways, but I only know of those too. So, yeah. What, what am I going to do to get you back? I told Gaia that I was going to bring you guys back. We wait here... We wait here. We can only do that unless there is a way to get multiple wyverns past the realm barrier. We won't abandon each other, unlike that Ungrith. Oh, we don't speak of him. Tell them you know him or don't say anything. Uh, they don't speak of him, so I'm not going to say anything. In any case, if you find a way to break past the realm barrier, you can come back here. We'd be happy to go home again. Thank you, Afmao. If you ever need me to carry a letter or a package for you, you can come ask me or carry one of my, or any one of my kin here. Flying around gives us something to do and new people to meet, and has provided us many opportunities to find a way to get back home. Remember that when you need an errand next time. Oh, wow. Okay. I, I will remember that, and I will remember your snappy attitude. Actually, a lot of the dragons here are small. Urngrith is actually very big compared to them. Um, ka Kaiku. Whoa. Hmm, I heard Raven say your name, Afmao, is it? I have a letter from you from a Kawaii-chan. Would you like to read it? Yeah, of course I would! Oh my god, that's a lot of text. <laughs> Dear Afmao, Kawaii-chan hopes this letter finds you. A priest told Kawaii-chan that Kawaii-chan could use this golden wyvern as a way to send messages, which is a very cute and very useful, so I wanted to let you know that Kawaii-chan has been having a hard time finding a new place to live. Kawaii-chan was happy in her own home back where Kawaii-chan was. It's just... Kawaii-chan has only one maid left, and no one willing t will help Kawaii-chan with building and materials. Kawaii-chan was wondering if maybe Kawaii-chan could come live with you in your village, at least for a little bit. Let me know. If not, that's okay. It's just Kawaii-chan has no one. Aww. Thank you for reading. Ciao. <laughs> what do you want me to tell Kawaii-chan? <laughs> she can't live here. Don't respond or tell her she's welcome here. Ugh. I have no idea how she's going to get along with everyone in the village, and we've got so many things going on here already, I just... <sighs> but I can't... I feel bad because I feel like I'm the one who made it so she can't come back, so... <sighs> tell her she's welcome here. Tell her, yeah, tell her she's welcome here. Will do. You are kind. You can customize your message next time if you write it in a timely manner. Since this was deemed urgent, it can. I can only deliver... A one-word response. Don't worry. I'll make sure she knows the way to your village. Aw. Thank you, Cal Calcu. And, uh, oh my god. These dragons have, like, the weirdest... Raven's, like, the only one that I have. And Calcu, I guess. Oh god, Puma, you scared me. I thought you were a monster coming in. Ugh. Anyway, here. Take some food. And, um, you understand us, our kin. You must have the gift of Irene. I thought it was Irina. W whatever. Oh, I don't trust humans. Um, I don't trust humans. I don't deliver mail, but your scent smells happy to me. Oh, you smell nice. Are you friendly? Aww. They're like little dragons just living here. And look, they got like, oh my god, they got all these materials here. That's pretty awesome. That's pretty darn awesome. Anyway, all right, so let's, Puma, let's get out of here. I don't want to bother them. And maybe, you know what, maybe what we should do is, um, let's go take a nap. And then we'll go try to find, um, Donna and see if she's like anywhere to be found. Because I haven't even seen her around town. I hope, I hope Kiki didn't get her in trouble. Brendan... Brendan, you're crazy to be out here at night. Seriously, you're crazy to be sleeping at night. 
just uh you're you're crazy brendan let's get going home and make sure that you know we're all good it looks like brian is on guard duty we got um the other guard here and we Garth, I wonder if he's gonna get us like some some other guards to come here and help us protect But let's go to sleep and then we'll go out looking for Donna for a little bit and maybe we'll find her If not, I have no idea where she is. I have no idea where Kiki made her go Let's see if we can if we can quickly just take a fast nap <sighs> Okay, all right, let's go see if we can find Donna. Um, I guess the one place that I haven't really checked Uh Puma come on. Let's go. I guess the one place that I haven't really checked is um well, I mean, I checked over there. I haven't checked over by the Lord's house. Um, let's go check by the docks. Let's go see if Donna is by the docks. I mean, that's the only place that's close by that I can check it. If not, well then, okay, that's fine. But, you know, we're not gonna, we're not gonna see her, like, oh. Wow. I'm actually really, I should say that more often. I should say, oh, we're not gonna do, and pfft, it's gonna happen. Donna. Oh. Oh, Atmao, Kiki sent me out to find some herbs for a special medicine, medicinal tea for Logan. I'm so worried about him. Um, uh, <laughs> he'll get better soon, you'll see, or hey, do you like dogs? Yeah, do you like dogs? That's a weird question to ask. I suppose I don't have any bad feelings towards dogs. I just wouldn't have five of them in the house like some people. <laughs> he he he. Let's see. Yeah. How about, <laughs> they're potty trained. They are potty trained. How about werewolves? Uh, huh. Well, that came out of nowhere. That came from nowhere. Why are you asking me these kinds of questions at such a bad time? Uh, um, I just want to fill out the survey I got from- That doesn't even sound- that Garth would not give me a survey to go- um, I just need to know, Donna. Just tell me. Hmm, in that case, when I was a kid, my village was attacked by werewolves. I've been afraid of them ever since, but let's not talk about that. <laughs> uh, okay, bye. See you, Afmao. Oh, the wedding. It's on hold until Logan is better, but I would like it by the water if you can. Thanks, Afmao. Oh, she's got like the little herbs and everything, too. <laughs> I need to t I feel like I should tell her, but I don't think it's- Oh, I feel so bad. Okay. All right. Well, we've talked to everyone in the village to make sure everyone knows. Um, I mean, make sure everyone's okay. I mean, I, I don't care if everyone is op opposed to Logan being a werewolf. I don't- Yeah, I'm with Garth on this. I think that it's right for Logan to live here because this is where he lives now. And even though he, he came here originally as a merchant- and he was really mean to me, and he said a lot of bad things to me, I believe, in giving people second chances. And if he's hurt, then he needs our help right now. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for tuning into this episode of Minecraft Diaries. I look forward to seeing you guys next time, and expect my house to look a little bit different. I kind of like the little outdoorsy look, but I think I could do a little bit better, especially with some stairs. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for tuning into this episode of Minecraft Diaries. Look forward to seeing you all in the next one. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.